It's, we call them guided ultrasonic waves, and our particular interest is uh, um, developing the artificial intelligence that allows us to, uh, to uh, um, make sense of these very complicated signals that, that we record with our instruments. What we're seeing here is uh, a fancy loudspeaker. But what this does is uses uh, some complicated physics in order to give us a loudspeaker that um, is highly directional. And so if you're standing in front of the speaker, you hear the music, in this case Monty Python. Um, if you're standing to the side of it, you don't hear it. Okay. Um, we've been using this technology for a couple of things here in our lab. Uh, one is using it for security screening. If you point back up there, you'll see uh, a mannequin that my daughter calls No Head. And, uh, uh, Shortly after 9-11, we began exploring how the things we're doing here in the lab can be used for security screening. Um, in this particular case, the idea is to use a, a highly directed beam of sound to look underneath someone's clothing and see if they have a, a hidden weapon there. And we can do this from a, a, a long distance. The, the people who do this for a living define a lethal radius. That uh, means uh, if you have an, uh, a hidden bomb on you and you blow yourself up, you don't get on. So here's the, the big um, ultrasonic piezoelectric crystal. Here's a little tiny one, the circle that you see down there. And in this case, what we've got is this um, attached to a piece of aircraft structure. These are riveted and glued to the underside of the aircraft skin. And those provide the, the structural strength of the aircraft. So we hit this with a, a voltage so it vibrates. That vibration then travels down um, the length of the structure um, and is received by a second transducer down there. So this is um, what the actual signal looks like when you send the vibrations across one of these plates here. These are uh, motors, so these things can um, step automatically down the plate. As you can see, there's a flaw that's been introduced to this plate here. Um, and the way that these vibrations, as they travel through this flaw, interact with it is what we're interested in. So here what you see is um, a wall and a floor um, in a, a marine structure ship. Um, and their issue is, uh, is finding flaws like corrosion underneath uh, insulation like this. And so these same vibrations can travel from one place to another in uh, a ship structure. Um, and how fast they go depends um, how thick it is. And, and Corey, his algorithms allow us to, uh, to pick out those subtle changes so that we can tell where there's a flaw and how serious it is. Here's uh, a piece of pipe, and this technique that, that we're developing allows us to find flaws in um, parts of the piping system that are inaccessible. So we put our sensors at places where we have access, and then uh, the vibrations travel from one place to another and tell us what's happening along the way. Here what you see is a variety of different elbows in pipes. Uh, we even did this a couple of years ago for very thick walled tubing. Um, interior diameter 120 millimeters, so those are uh, howitzers. And the issue there is erosion rather than corrosion. Um, and in that case, uh, we built a little robot that, that uh, inchworms its way down inside um, the barrel of the gun. And then when it gets down near the breech where you care, it, it does its little uh, scanning thing similar to what you see here. We've been working for some time now to adapt um, techniques from medical ultrasound and from industrial materials inspection um, for dental applications. We are hoping to be able to test ultrasound going around the tooth as instead of just straight through the material. So right now we are doing some proof of concept designs to generate the ultrasound waves to be generated across the material and reflected back as opposed to through the material and that will allow us to detect in cracks, hopefully on the side of the teeth, or even cavities that would be forming in between teeth. And in this case, we have a hollow conical tip with a transducer in the head of the handpiece, and this then is just pressed up against the gum line. The ultrasound projects down into the tissues and reflects back from the anatomy that's underneath there, and uh, time delay of the reflection tells us the depth. The problem is that um, the reflections that come back are very subtle, and so the work that we're doing here in the laboratory is part engineering work to configure this in a way that can be useful in the dental office. The rabbit's foot, yes, yeah, good luck to reduce the uh, signal to noise ratio.